So here's a crazy thing. Almost everyone I know agrees that the government of the United States, the government of the most powerful nation on the face of the earth, is completely broken. And for most of us, it's really obvious why. Lobbyists write our laws, politicians are bought, and corruption is infecting every issue that's close to our hearts. But what's even crazier is that we've all convinced ourselves that there's nothing we can do about it. And that is one of the biggest and most dangerous lies in American politics. The problem isn't that corrupt politicians are breaking the law. The problem is that we don't even have laws for them to break. Right now, corruption is legal in America. And that is something we can fix. Here's exactly how we do it. Right now, it's perfectly legal for special interests to hand huge checks to the members of Congress who regulate them. It's perfectly legal for those same members of Congress to pass laws to help out lobbyists who offer them a cushy job when they leave office. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. From million dollar bundlers to the threat of a super PAC smear campaign, there are literally dozens of perfectly legal ways to buy a public official. But that makes the solution pretty obvious. Make corruption illegal. All of it. And that is where the American Anti-Corruption Act comes in. It introduces a strict set of ethical standards, so if you're an elected official on, say, the Senate Banking Committee, you can't take donations from banking lobbyists. It mandates full transparency, so the American people know exactly who's trying to buy our elected officials. It changes how elections are funded, so clean candidates can win without selling out to special interests. And it does all of this while protecting the people's right to free speech. That's because the act was written by top constitutional scholars, conservative and liberal alike, to stand up to the toughest scrutiny. You can read the full text of the act at anticorruptionact.org. And speaking of the Constitution, let's talk about a little Supreme Court ruling called Citizens United. Here's the thing. While a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United would help clamp down on those shady groups with names like Americans for Freedom and Jobs and More Freedom, it wouldn't fix any of the problems we talked about before. You could pass that amendment tomorrow and the bribery, the extortion, the conflicts of interest, all of it would still be legal. But in a weird way, that's actually good news because it means we can solve a huge part of this problem with a plain old law. The question is, how do we get it passed? I mean, asking Congress to do it is like asking a fox to put a lock on the hen house. The greasy, dirty, disgusting fox. And also, the fox is a congressman and not a fox at all. Look, my point is, we can go around Congress using a little something called the ballot initiative process. It lets citizens pass laws ourselves. No politicians required. All we have to do is gather enough signatures, put anti-corruption acts up to a simple public vote, and we can start fixing the corrupt system right at home. Here's our plan, in five steps. First, we'll need a law to pass. One that, you know, actually fixes things. Okay, Anti-Corruption Act. Check. Next, we need to bring conservatives and progressives together and get organized. It's the only way to build enough power to defeat the politically entrenched and well-funded opposition. We're in good shape there, though, because everyone already agrees we need to fix our corrupt system. In fact, local Tea Partiers and progressive activists actually teamed up to pass America's first Anti-Corruption Act in 2014. And the movement has racked up even more victories since. There are more than 22,000 cities in America where we can use the ballot initiative process to pass locally tailored anti-corruption acts. And this really matters. We're protecting our communities from corruption, so our schools, hospitals, local resources, and jobs are no longer under the constant threat of getting sold out to special interests. Plus, citywide initiatives and resolutions build momentum for the most powerful way we can go around Congress passing anti-corruption acts in states. State acts not only clean up statewide corruption, they change how elections are funded so clean candidates can win office without selling out to special interests. That goes for federal candidates from that state too. Once we pass these state laws, we can send a new wave of representatives and senators to Washington. State by state, we can fill Congress with leaders who got elected under the rules of our new anti-corruption acts replacing entrenched politicians with new blood. See how this works? By taking the fight to the states, we can fix Congress from the outside. And when these new representatives get to Congress, free from dependence on special interests, they'll be free to vote for and pass the American Anti-Corruption Act at the federal level to fix this problem for good. So that's the plan, and 500,000 Represent Us members couldn't agree more. 
We're bringing conservatives and progressives together to pass anti-corruption acts across America and put power back in the hands of the people, where it belongs. We need millions more people to join, and that includes you. Start by clicking here and we'll tell you exactly how you can help.